Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Lawyers for Ethan Crumley plan to pursue an insanity defense for the 15-year-old who is accused of the Oxford school shooting. Meanwhile, parents of some Oxford students are filing a lawsuit against Crumley's parents and members of the school district. Their attorney discussed a violent drawing that Ethan did and the school knew about. The attorney saying Ethan was crying out for help and no one called 911. Stay with 7 Action News and WXYZ. We'll have much more on this developing story throughout the day. And state police were investigating shots fired on the Lodge Freeway. It happened this morning at the Lodge at Davidson. A woman called 911 saying shots were fired at her car. Investigators say this was not a random shooting, but a case of domestic violence. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Police are still looking for a suspect. And General Motors is going on a hiring spree. The company is looking to fill a thousand new technical job openings this year. The automaker is looking for software, computer, mechanical and electrical engineers, along with battery engineers and cybersecurity experts. GM has been moving to expand beyond selling vehicles, working to develop hydrogen fuel locomotives, aircrafts and generators. Last year, GM hired more than 10,000 workers worldwide, with a third of those workers in software engineering jobs. Since late 2020, the company has hired 21,000 people for technical positions. It's a blustery afternoon, some wind gusts 25 to 30 miles per hour. Light scattered snow showers this evening, and tonight temperatures drop back to nine single digit lows the next two mornings yet again. Highs at 19 degrees Friday and Saturday, Sunday, some light snow showers in the afternoon. Upper 20s Monday, getting warmer next week, above freezing Tuesday and Wednesday. That's going to come with a mix of rain and snow.